Welcome to Investing in Comic Books. I'm Terry Harkness. I've put out a complete series of books that look at investing in all the key books from the gold, silver, and bronze ages. We have over 200 books in our series which have covered over 5,000 classic comic books. So you can analyze all of them. We've got tons of details which we're going to show you an example here today as today we analyze the pros and cons of investing in Amazing Adventures issue number 11 published in 1972 by Marvel Comics. It's the first appearance of the furry beast and that's a connection to the X-Men and the X-Men also appear in this comic. It's first appearance of the Brand Corporation features a Gil Kane and Bill Everett cover and Tom Sutton and Sid Shore's interior art. Looking quickly at the CGC census as of September 12th census I pulled 332 copies in total have been graded but only 28 copies 9.6 are better for the best copies for the uh, high grade collectors and Heritage has sold 30 copies over the past decade so averaging out to about three copies a year, which is not a lot at all. So already what I can tell you about this book is usually Marvel 1970s Bronze Age comics have been uh, hoarded quite a bit, but this isn't one of the more popular titles and the Beast didn't stand out as a major key player uh, until way later. And so what happens is this book actually is a lot rarer than most and people did not speculate on this and uh, stockpile this one or collect this series and this also has a black cover which also easily shows spine damage so finding a super high grade copy is actually kind of hard to do let's look at the overstreet price guide over the past seven years and see what kind of movement has been happening 9.2 this book is currently worth 400 dollars, which is a stall from last year no movement at all but generally speaking it's been showing about 50 dollars growth a year um, so that's probably going to stay fairly consistent. Uh, looking at a 9.0, again, it's been pretty steady movement until this year because the top grade stalled. The 9.0 actually had a bit of market correction and has been lowered in value. And you'll see that right across the board for all low grades. So over the years, all the low to mid grade copies have been pretty stable, just kind of staying where they are, not really moving up or down. Um, but just in the past year, just a little correction and a little dip on all of them. This is not likely to continue uh, unless the 9.2, of course, continues to stall. Is it possible that that could happen? Yes, it is. Uh, this is a fairly high-priced uh, Marvel 70s book already at $400. So it's possible it actually could stall for a few years. Not saying it's going to for sure. If it does start to go up again, it's probably again going to do a predictable $25 to $50 a year gain uh, but anyway stall this year so looking at these prices would I invest in the low to mid grades already I would say no there really isn't any money to be made over half a decade if a book only goes up two dollars I don't really consider that uh, worth any of your time so unless you get to at least an 8.0 you've seen a little bit of growth overall. As I say, you don't see it this year with actually the drop in price. That's either going to stay stalled there for the next few years or might slowly go back up again if the 9.2 starts to move again. Looking at some of Heritage Auction's best sales, uh, just to show how rare this book is, they have never sold a 9.8 or 9.6. That's usually a key right there instantly of how rare a book is because Heritage loves to sell off the top key books for multiples a guide, but they've never done it with this book. They're just not out there. So they've sold um, a bunch of 9.4s though, and the best sale they had was in 2005 for a copy that sold for just a bit over $1,000. And at that time, the book was not even worth 200 So that person paid over five times guide in 2005. The next best sale was also that year and sold for $862. Not as impressive, but obviously still four times guide. Any more recent sales actually haven't happened. So either they're not on the market or prices have actually come down for the highest grades. But again, as I said, no 9.8s or 9.6s have ever been sold. Looking at the CGC census, let's see how rare this book really is in those high grades. Well, it turns out only two copies in the world graded 9.8. That is a very scarce book. That book would sell way, way above guide. Um, so be on the watch out for those. Of course, there actually is a lot of 9.6s, even though Heritage has never sold any. 26 of them, in fact. So notice, to have a special book here, already over 100 copies have been graded 9.2 or higher. So 
Already, once you get to the 9.2 grade, it's not really a rare book. It's nothing special. But yes, people do want it. It's got the X-Men tie-in. So there are a lot of collectors who would like to have this book. Once you get to... Uh, you know, under nine, of course, the book becomes more and more common. You'll see on the census, there's not a lot of low-grade books. That's not because it's rare. It's just because most people know there's no sense paying to get your book graded when it has such a low value and it's not moving up. It's not worth investing in. So once you see under the 7.0, it's just no point. The book has not been going up in value at all. And what that also could mean is chances are that any copies graded six or less, you can probably buy through sites like eBay at Underguide. becomes a very common book and people are not investing in the low grades. So summing up this book, a great, beautiful cover, X-Men tie-in. It's over 40 years old. It is a major valuable Marvel Bronze Age comic. It has stalled in the past year. Otherwise, it usually has nice growth in the highest grades. But anything 8.0 or less, I would give thumbs down. If you would like to learn about other books in this series, or any other comics from the gold, silver, bronze ages, please check out our series of books called Investing in Comic Books, where we have taken a, a deep look at over 5,000 classic comics in our series of 200 books. You can check them out at hawknesscomics.com. Always happy to answer your questions, or if you want to talk about any of these issues of my personal opinions, uh, feel free to email me, hawkness at hotmail.com. If you'd like to see me cover a specific book you are interested or curious about, uh, please do that, and I'll be happy to do that for you as well. Thanks for watching the video.